And as protests continue nationwide in the wake of George Floyd's death, change is being made. First in Albany, where the legislature is on the verge of passing several police reform measures. As we hear tonight from two on your sides, Leanne Stuck. Lawmakers in Albany are moving quickly to pass several bills on police reform. The first includes legislation that would prohibit the use of chokeholds by law enforcement unless they're in danger. It would also establish a new charge of aggravated strangulation. I voted yes on that. I felt that it hit the mark. Um, I believe, I truly believe, chokeholds are not necessary. Another piece of legislation would make race-related 911 calls a hate crime. Both bills passed the Senate and Assembly and are headed to the governor's desk. During his daily briefing Monday, he said he intends to sign them. Uh, we worked with the legislature over the weekend. Uh, I think we have an agreement on the bills that are going to be introduced. Uh, if they pass the bills that we've discussed, I will sign the bills and I will sign them uh, as soon as they're passed. The legislature also advanced a bill to repeal and replace a law known as 50A, which keeps personnel files for law enforcement confidential. The bill would allow the release of that information to the public. Some members of law enforcement have expressed concerns about the change. Speaking for my men and women, I think this is going to be very hard for them to understand that we can release everything that they've ever done in a 20, 30 year career. Um, and that could have some influence on a prosecution. Assemblymember Patrick Burke released this statement about Monday's session, saying in part, today was a historic day in the legislature, as my colleagues and I passed a series of bills to increase transparency in law enforcement and to ban the dangerous practice of chokeholds. S112 knows 32. Voting is expected to continue into Tuesday and Wednesday. Leon Stock, Channel 2 News.